so so many issues with the vaccines i don't know if it's in every other state but here somehow block a some of them first responders have not been able to get the vaccine that they were supposed to get before they went to block b now block b is having all these issues which is for the elderly right so disorganized i do not get it i don't understand it it just don't make no sense to me whatsoever like come on like shouldn't this be the thing that you got right right this is the thing you've been pushing shouldn't you? ah and what listen to this episode definitely crazy What's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. You already know what it is and what it do. We're back at it once again. You already know what it is, man. What it is. I hope that y'all had an amazing, amazing week. And yes, I am officially back. Yes, last week you got some of the content. But you know that the quality, everything is on point right it's on point nothing is stopping me i'm doing what i need to get done right i'm doing what i need to get done nothing's gonna stop me okay nothing's gonna stop me so i'm here we're going to get it done y'all already know what it is shoot this is me this is what i do right so nothing's gonna stop us you already know that we got to keep keep it moving we got to keep it moving and i hope that y'all are enjoying the content if you have any advice comment below i don't mind advice at all i promise you that i promise you that <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna pretty much start jumping into these um you already know how we are. We got to definitely get into the content. We got to see what's going on, what's kind of newsworthy, all of that craziness. You already know, bro. You already know, right? You already know. So let's go ahead and get ready, right? Let's get ready. You ready? Yeah. And hundreds of thousands of New Mexicans are now eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine as part of the current phase targeting the elderly and people with serious health issues. But getting everyone through that process is proving to be problematic. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt joins us with more. I spoke with a local woman who has health problems and doesn't have a computer, so her friend is trying to help her register for the vaccine. And like others, she's running into roadblocks. It's something the governor is addressing. I'm 78, I live by myself, I'm handicapped, I use a, a walker, and I, I have nobody, you know, except one friend, and she's getting tired of the getting on that computer all the time. Ramonda Zanotti says she was contacted by the Department of Health on January 4th, saying she can register online to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Her friend helped her register, and she was given an event code to get the vaccine. Then this message, the event has ended and no appointments are available. And not to worry, the department will notify you of additional opportunities in the future. Just constantly calling, constantly calling, and nobody helping you. New Mexico is in phase 1B for the vaccine, which includes people over 75 and those with underlying health problems. Zanotti has cancer and an upcoming surgery. I'm very worried. I, I know I'm not the only one that's got health problems. We asked the governor about these issues yesterday. And we can do better, straight up. We can just do better. So we really don't have the bottleneck. We did have some logistics problems. She admits the call center was overwhelmed and says the state is working through the kinks. Plus, phase 1B is hard, right, because it depends on how much vaccine we have access to. The state has administered more than 100,000 doses over the past month. They need vaccine production to ramp up and more streamlined ways to administer it to get everyone through this next phase. 75-year-olds and people who have conditions that warrant them high risk. That's a huge group. That's 300,000 New Mexicans. Right after that is all caregivers and educators. And right after that, right, we start to go to other essential workers. 1B is a big group in New Mexico. The state says it's starting up more drive through COVID vaccine clinics, including one at NMSU today, which will help those with mobility issues. Back to you.
Thanks, Gabby. Now, there are still people in the 1A group who have not been sent an event code for an appointment. Officials say these people are still in line. They have not explained how they're determining who gets an event code when, only that it is based on supply. Hmm. Okay. 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 So, some people are just not getting the rollout of the vaccine, and this I feel like this is something that's happening throughout the country. Pretty much is like, you're saying that we need this vaccine. It's so important, all these different things, right? You're saying that, but yet you guys are not complete. You are not fully organized when it comes to any of this, right? You're not prepared to it for it. You're not prepared for it. You're just kind of just doing your thing. I, I just don't understand it, like, whatsoever. I just don't, right? So, like, so here I am. I'm trying to understand that, okay, how are people from 1A still not have their vaccine, but you're already in the 1B or whatever it is, right? And and then some of them are getting an event code. Some aren't. Some need it more than others. Like, you so very disorganized so very disorganized i just don't understand it because you're saying that this should be you're saying that this is very important it should be it's mandatory or whatever it's top 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 priority right but yet none of this is where it needs to be right you are not super organized you're not any of this